Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For our first ornament we're going to be using these medium sized popsicle sticks that I found at the crafter square section at the dollar tray. Now these are slightly bigger than a normal popsicle stick so I made it perfect for the size that I wanted my ornament to be. After measuring it out I only used about five of these sticks. So I wanted to create a frame around this ornament so I used the Stacking blocks found at the Dollar Tree, I used two for the width and two for the length as well. I needed to be able to cut the popsicle sticks down to be the exact length that I needed for my ornament. So I placed them on top just exactly how I wanted them and um, with a pencil I just traced around where I needed to cut off. After marking my lines I just cut them down with a pair of scissors. I also sanded the edges down with a piece of sandpaper and with Gorilla Wood Glue I glued the popsicle sticks together and left them to dry. And once the back of my ornament was dry, I used Waverly paint and malachite to paint the entire back piece. Now to stain the stacking blocks, I used Waverly Wax Paint in Antique to cover them in paint and then wipe them down with some paper towel. Once those were completely dry, I used the same wood glue to adhere them to the back of my ornament. Now once gluing these on, I did realize that the top of the back of the ornament was actually sticking out, so I either didn't measure it properly or I didn't cut it down short enough, but later on I did sand them down to make them even. Now I'm using one of the stencils that Dollar Tree came out with for the Christmas collection. This is a part of a bigger pack of stencils, but I just cut it down to make it fit so that way I could tape it down and stencil it in. I used Apple Barrel acrylic white paint to stencil in my reindeer. I tried using the stenciling brush that I found at Dollar Tree, but this was not working good enough for me, so I went back to using the sponge brush. Once I was all stenciled in, I removed the stencil and I went back in with a fine tip paintbrush to clean up all the edges. I had gotten a pack of these little pom poms from the Dollar Tree and also I had a pack of the wooden beads as well. I couldn't decide at first if I wanted to use those or the pom poms for the reindeer's nose. After measuring it out, I felt that the smallest pom pom um, was 
best it was actually a little too big so I did cut it down but that's what worked out best for me to glue on to the reindeer's nose And to be able to hang up my ornament, I just used a piece of jute string to glue onto the back. So I felt like this still needed something to be added, so I had this burlap fabric that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby and I decided to make a small little bow. So cutting a strip of that burlap sack, I also got a small piece of jute string. I folded over the edges and just pinched in the center and pinching that center I also just wrapped the jute string around and tightly made a knot to create my bow. I also cut off the excess string and any pieces that were hanging off the bow. I glued my little bow onto the left top hand corner of the ornament and I decided to add on some holly berries that I also found from Dollar Tree from one of their picks and just glued on a few of them to the center of my bow. That's it for my first ornament. For ornament number two, I had also found this oval shaped wooden plaque over at the crafter section at the Dollar Tree, and I decided to turn this into an ornament as well. I made sure to smooth out any rough edges that were on this. I also just painted the entire thing in white chalk paint. Also using another Christmas stencil from Dollar Tree, I cut out the sleigh on this one and I decided to use that as my stencil for this ornament. But before stenciling that on, I used some of the Waverly's antique wax paint to dry brush some paint all around the edges to kind of give it more of a distressed look. Then using some painter's tape, I positioned the stencil where I thought it would look best. I used Apple Barrel's Burnt Umber Dark Brown color to paint in my stencil. I also use that same brown and a thin brush to clean up my edges. Now for my lettering I used Waverly's ink chalk paint which is in the color black and the stamps that I found at the Target dollar spot back during the fall collection these were only three dollars and I spelled out the word sleigh rise on the top of my ornament. 
And the reason I'm using paint instead of an ink pad was because I tried using the ink pads from Dollar Tree and they were either too dried out or just not working at all for me. So I felt that this was my best option. I did have to go back in with my paintbrush and fill in some areas. Now on the bottom I just freehanded the numbers 25 and then using the letter C stamp and an exclamation point stamp I created the scent symbol. Now using this redberry garland that I found at Dollar Tree as well, I measured around the whole perimeter of the ornament and I cut it down to size, then I hot glued it down to create a frame around the ornament. The best part about this berry garland is that it does have a wire inside so it's easy to work with and shape around the entire frame of the ornament. And to finish this off, I just cut a piece of jute string and hot glued it onto the back to be able to hang up my ornament. And that's it for ornament number two. Now moving on to ornament number three, I used the mason jar ornament, also found at Dollar Tree. I unscrewed the cap and I wanted to add in this little Christmas tree that I found at Walmart for 86 cents. It was a bit smaller than the one that they sell at the Dollar Tree and it would already fit perfectly inside of this mason jar. And I kept the base of the tree on there to be able to hot glue it onto the lid. Using another piece of that holly berry pick that I found at Dollar Tree, I just cut off individual pieces and hot glued them all around the tree to make it look like ornaments. Now you can choose on how you want to decorate your tree. You could easily add anything you want onto this as long as it would fit inside the mason jar. I just wanted it to be simple and add a few little berries onto it. 
Now Dollar Tree also carries a bag of faux snow. I have some from last year already saved in a baggie, so I just poured a little bit into the bottom of the mason jar. I then flipped the lid upside down and screwed it back onto the mason jar and flipped it back upside to make sure the snow would go towards the bottom of the jar. I then did realize that I added too much snow, so I just removed some of it and did the same steps all over again. You just want enough fake snow to cover up the base of that tree and just to be at the bottom of your Christmas tree. Now using some of that jute string again, I took out a long piece and wrapped it around the lid of the mason jar and hot glued it down. I then grabbed my pair of scissors and just went around the jute string to cut off any excess pieces. This is probably one of my favorite ornaments out of all four. It's so simple but yet so adorable. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. Now for my last ornament, I used this flatter, rounded shaped ornament and I'll be using the buffalo checked fabric piece that I found there as well to wrap around the ornament completely with Mod Podge. I measured around the entire ornament with the fabric itself to see how much I needed to cut out. Using Mod Podge and a paintbrush, I covered one side of the ornament completely in the Mod Podge and then pressed on the fabric to make sure it was covering it completely. Now adding more Mod Podge to the other side of the ornament and smoothing on the fabric, smoothing it out as much as you can to cover up all the edges. Since this is an awkward shape to cover, you will have some excess pieces that you'll need to just cut off. And you want to try to cover as much of the seam as possible and paste down as much of it as you can. I did have to use a little bit of hot glue in some areas, but for the most part, the Mod Podge kept it all in place. I definitely needed to cover up the seam, so I wanted to use some nautical rope to wrap around 
the entire circle. You could also use some jute string. I would maybe just double it up. Now I measured out how much I thought I would need. You do want to leave some space at the top because I'm going to be adding a little bit more nautical rope around the um, opening of the ornament. So don't do as I do here. Just make sure to leave some room at the top. Now I added the hanger back onto the top of the ornament and here's where I realized that I had too much rope so I needed to cut some of it down. Now why this was a mistake in the first place, it was very difficult to try to cut some extra pieces off of that rope, but when I did, I ended up cutting a little too much, <laughs> so there is a little bit of a gap there, but I mean, it wasn't so bad at the end. I then wrapped the nautical rope around the top of the um, hanging piece just to cover that metal part up. I did end up using two pieces of nautical rope on top of each other. I also found this stencil at the Dollar Tree and I knew that I wanted to use the wreath stencil for the middle of my ornament. To make it easier on myself, I cut out the stencil and then taped it down with painter's tape as best as I could. Using that Malachite Waverly paint in green, I also just painted around the entire greenery area of the wreath trying to hold it down in some areas that the tape couldn't hold it down um, and make sure I got all the stencil in. Now I'm not going to lie and say that this was easy because it by no means was easy but I did love how the results came out. I had to do the same for the red um, on the berries of this wreath. So I just used the crimson red color from Waverly Chalk Paint and painted in the berries. Now of course there was a little bit of bleeding that went through the stenciling but I just fixed that up with this thin paintbrush and some more of the paint and just cleaned up some of the edges. I really love how this ornament came out. Now here's a look back at all four of the ornaments we made today. I want to thank you all so much for watching for supporting my channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in my next one.